Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. Stinger OS now active. Welcome, Agent. Hi, Droby here. Show you around the Alpha 0.3 of the Stinger OS for Night Team 4. Uh, in this tutorial video, we're going to be going over the uh, Turbine C2 registry. If you're just joining us, welcome. I highly recommend checking out the first video in the series, an introduction to the Stinger OS. You can find a description, uh, a link to that in the description of this video or else right at the end. And if you're uh, joining us again, welcome back. So in this one, we're going to be going over the Turbine C2 registry, how it is currently used in the Alpha OS, what we're hoping to do with it, and how it can be useful to you in the Alpha 0.3 mission. So let's open it up. I'll explain to you a little bit about what it is, what we're looking at, and, ha and show you an example of how we can use it. Turbine C2 registry initiated. So once you launch a Fox Acid attack against a network, and it's successful, you'll gain control of that network and it will show up here. So you can see in the first mission of Alpha 0.2, we did an attack against the Rosenberg's Clinic uh, SIP subdomain. So now it shows up within our uh, registry. Now, once you have control of a network like this, you can use it to your advantage for various means. Currently, those means are limited to using it as a proxy when you want to attack or probe another target so you're protecting yourself or else you can use it to access internal subdomains and internal files currently within that network where we will expand that in the in as we build out the game but currently for the alpha and especially the alpha 0.3 that is how you can use a network within the turbine c2 registry so there are four kinds of networks within this registry. The first one here is 19.4 controlled. What that means, this is the kind of thing that you'll be given from previous missions, like the Rosenberg Clinic one. Also, as you raise in levels, you may gain access to additional things, and it, this will be where your current mission objectives will appear. So as you use Fox, Fox Acid attacks against various networks, they will appear here. You can also see there are agent controlled right now I have none because I have not performed a Fox acid attack against any networks in this session but this is where you would be able to build up your own uh, network selection so you can do side quests you can do it in your own free time build up your network that's where that will appear now the hive minds network is a stealth network similar to SIRP nets used by the US government and then encrypted civilian uh, networks like Tor or I2P addresses. Currently you can see here there are some player created server nodes. This is where the, the player created server nodes will be populated. Also networks related to the various factions. So here you can see some of the various player created factions and you'll get to learn much more about them as we move forward which is exciting. And the other thing that you'll find on the HiveMind network is going to be the uh, 194 central infrastructure and other main channel uplinks by various other intelligence agencies within the 194 universe. Finally we have the Rogue network. So this here is a extremely specialized networks that will be sold on the black market. So you can see it already here. It's got a lot of nodes in this network. We don't know too much about it, but we can assume it's very powerful. Now, speaking about that power, let's go back to the 19.4 control networks for a second. You can see here in this one that it's E5 level and that has five nodes and various different ones have various different amounts. What that means is quantity and quality of control over that network. So the the greater control you have over a network, the this number will increase going towards A and increasing increasing in value. That will mean you have more a, a better control over the nodes within that network, and then the nodes themselves are going to be the quantity within that network that you control. 
Right now, we don't have a mechanic for increasing that control, but that is something that we're going to be working in to future iterations of 19.4. We really want you to be able to go in, look at the networks you have currently in the registry, and improve them so that they can be you. You can better use them as resources, basically, uh, in moving forward. So right now, there there is nothing set up, but we are we are hoping to get a mechanic in there that will allow you to really play around uh, with these networks and improve them. So let's look, let's take control of a network, shall we? I'll, I'll use an example and we'll go through the process and I'll show you how we'll get a network onto our system. So you can see here, currently it's localhost root. This means we're not on anyone else's network. So we're gonna go and do a Fox Acid attack against Super Terum. Our Black Watchmen players will remember Super Terum well, uh, and they are a, a fun organization. I won't spoil anything about what they do, just in case you have not played Season 1 of the Black Watchmen, but that, that is our target of choice. Now, keep in mind, none of the targets that we use in these tutorials are ones you actually have to use for your missions, but they are available to you. You can follow along my process and you will actually be able to add them to your registry. Information gathering module initiated. Information gathering module initiated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two um, DNS attacks against Super Terum to try and find some of their subdomains, see how we can inject malware using the Fox Acid. All right, so let's do a S fuzzer against them for 30 seconds. And over here we'll do an OSINT scan of them for the first 500 results from Google. Now you can see I copy and pasted Super Terum's website because I always misspell it. You can copy and paste from an external source uh, into the terminal uh, and we, so Keep that in mind if you have a particularly hard subdomain. So now the scan is starting here and the scan is starting here. So here on the S fuzzer, we found three subdomains. We got the their website, support, and blog. Over here we got five. We have portal, file server, support, blog, and their website. Now let's run a let's do some port scanning against the file server, see what we can find, see how we can inject that Fox Acid malware. Information gathering module initiated. So we're running a port scan against the file server subdomain of Super Terum to see what comes up. Now remember, I'm opening an up another workstation. It's always you know easier for you to just open up a new workstation when you're doing a different type of module, but you can do as many as you want within the one. Now while this is running, we'll open up another one since multitasking is key and we'll Get the host fingerprint ready. Information gathering module initiated. So we are going to fingerprint file server at Super Terum and let's figure out which port we are going to be using. Uh, you can see here the uh, port scan is almost complete. And now once again, you can follow along and do this to Super Terum as I am doing it as an example, and then you can see how it works and then use it for your active mission. So we have port 8081. So let's put port 8081 in here and see what comes up. Um, and then from this step, we're gonna be able to open up Fox, our Fox Acid. Fox Acid server connection initiated. And we're going to be able to run that attack. So we're doing it against, we're doing a Fox Acid attack against file server dot super terum. We are doing it against port 8081. And let's figure out which technology we're doing it against. We're doing against QNAP. Okay, let's see if QNAP will work. There we go. 
So once we inject this malware, hopefully it'll work. I get the feeling it will. Uh, we are going to get this, the file server access within the uh, SuperTerm network, and that's going to be added to our C2 registry. We'll be able to log into it, and then we'll do another uh, DNS and vhost mapping and see what we can find within their internal server. Turbine C2 registry initiated. So as you can see here, as soon as the Fox Asset attack is successful, it instantly opens up our Turbine C2 registry, and now we have SuperTerum available. So let us connect to the C2. Now that we have access to the C2, we can, once again, you can click disconnect or connect there. You can see now, we are now connected to that network, uh, and that will allow, now we're internally within SuperTerm's network, we can do different kinds of recon gathering. So if we open up these two here, we can try a S fuzzer attack. against SuperTerm. Let's run this one for 30 seconds. But you'll see here, if we do an OSINT scan, oh, if we run an OSINT scan, it will not work. Because now that we're on an internal network, we can't check and see what's happening with open source intelligence, since that does not relate to our open network, to our, the internal network. I'll show you just as an example here. So you can see here, we have been able to access intranet at superterm.org. We were not able to access that last time so that is an example of using the exact same parameters of the s attack. So we now know more about our super term target because we're able to infiltrate within their network. And you can see here, we've gotten the same things. We do not have that intranet. So this allows us to, once again, learn more about our target because we're within their network. So that is all for the Turbine C2 registry. You now know how to use the command and control registry. It's very exciting and that will become a big part of 19.4 as we work to, to improve it and increase what you can do within it. Really appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of Alpha 0.3 and we'll see you soon. Closing root access, goodbye. You can find more 19.4 tutorials here, like an intro to the Stinger OS, a look into the password attack module, the Turbine C2 registry, plus you can find a full playlist of hacking tools currently available in the game. You can also pre-order 19.4 by clicking on the bottom right hand of the screen. Community links to our Discord server and dedicated forums can be found in the description below.